Okay, welcome to Unconsciously Raw. Um, this is my fourth episode. My name is Ricky Fontaine. I got some special guests in the house tonight. Um, guests, introduce yourself. Ladies, go ahead. Oh, I'm I'm Tyra. Hey. <laughs> hey Tyra. Hi, I'm Kim. What's going on, everybody? My name is Bill. What's up? Hey Bill. Y'all? It's Will, aka Lucky, also known as Smurf. Okay, well, which one would you rather us address you by? Because I can't remember all of those. Hey, which one is easiest? (laughs) You can say Will. Will. (laughs) Or, you can look at the shirt. Okay, okay, okay. I can remember it from the shirt. Okay, I got you. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, okay. So today we're going, we've been talking about these topics on my Facebook all week. So today we're going to start it off with uh, if a real man pays all the bills, what does a real woman do? Fellas, I'm going to let y'all go first. Complain. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> wow. You had to see that coming. <laughs> if, a man, wow. if a man is paying all the bills in the house, I'm talking about for down to the groceries, to the mortgage or rent, the woman should be stacking her savings or stacking their savings, but also in a time of need, that's where the first place they should be attacking. Essentially, that's what's going. That's what how I see it. Because if I'm paying all the bills, what else are you bringing to the table outside of a outside of being, uh, you know, sex? You you can say it. You can say yeah, it. Kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm just you know, being honest. If 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 we if if I'm bringing if I'm paying all the bills in your house, what are you? What else are you bringing to the table? If I'm so making a hundred. The key thing is your. You said if I'm paying all the bills in your house, our house. So okay. So yeah. see, there's a difference. There. So say, we can say we're together, we're engaged, we're married, right? I'm making a hundred thousand. I'm paying all the bills, and you're making say sixty, right? Say we have one child, and I'm paying all the daycare, or the schooling, or the clothing, and et cetera, et cetera. What are you bringing to the table? Because now it gets to the point where, all right, well, if we need say the roof cave in, well, babe, we need we need I need ten thousand to get this roof uh, repaired. It shouldn't be no, uh, I don't got it, or maybe that. No, no, no. You should have it because where are your bills going? Because your personal bill shouldn't exceed, you know, over a thousand dollars if we're keeping it in retrospect. But clearly, it's showing she, that she giving it to that man at Somerset. You know, yeah, what I'm that's saying? what she's doing. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, no. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, what's, is it Kim? Huh? Okay, you can go, girl, because I be talking. So feel free to just cut in. Cause I'm just, I'm a talker. So don't even just feel free to (laughs) cut me off. (laughs) Okay. Well, I mean, if a guy is paying all the bills, that's the household bills and both personal bills and personal bills. I mean, in like cell phone, car insurance, student loans, credit card bills, stuff like that. I mean, I, I still feel like the woman's place is to raise the kids, tend the house, support her man. Um, And a lot does go into that, probably more than a lot of guys realize. Just keeping the kids afloat, going to football and gymnastics and doing homework and scheduling doctors and dentist appointments and communicating with teachers, um, responding to emails, cooking dinner, cleaning, making sure everybody's clothes. Are you talking about what you do at your job or is it just at home? No, that is a job. You said she was making about 60. That means she also has a career. Then that starts once she get home. Well, let me ask yeah. you this, Kim. <laughs> if he's paying for all your personal bills and the household bills, are you a roommate? Or are you a child? Because say he working oh, at nine. So, because now think about it. If 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 oh, if I'm working at nine to five, easy. right? Say say I'm an engineer making one hundred fifty thousand, paying all my bills and your bills. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And I come home now. And in in today's world, most men, mo- mostly men, are doing all the cooking, cleaning. Oh, yeah, no, man. Oh, oh yeah. No, oh hell yeah. yeah. That's a that's, 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 that's a fact. Oh, hell yeah. No, no, no. Live that life. No. Here all, that they do hey, all the cooking in their household. Let me, nah. knock, 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 knock. Let me chime in here first of all. <laughs> let me just <laughs> let me just say this though. Realistically, when they say a man is paying all of the bills, 
And the, if the woman is employed, nine times out of 10, I mean, she is buying some groceries and doing all that. He's not just like, she's not putting anything out of her pocket. That is I, I, not what that means. I, but I think some of the men, we say, hey, you ain't got to pay no bills. Then we see you just fucking up your money. Then we be like, fuck this. <laughs> You got to pay some bills, not so you can help, just so you can spend your money on something that's worthy in our life, in our lifestyle. That's that's basically well, see, the that's reason. something you need to determine what type of mate it is that you're getting into a relationship with and possibly marrying or whatever prior to all of the finance thing, because y'all can live two totally different lifestyles. And that's something that has to be discussed prior to even beginning a relationship or lo something long term or getting married. Because finances doesn't mean. You know, yeah. finances are the number one killer of relation marriages. It is. But, yeah. Period. And Rick, if you're going to tell her, okay, you can not pay bills and I'm going to take care of everything at that time, it seemed like some expectations need to be set. So that doesn't exactly. mean you just go to Somerset and fuck off all your money every weekend yeah, or whatever every time a new bag but, come out. That's but, hold on, I got a okay, question, You're going to save your money and yeah. then you're going to pay for vacations or you're going to stack our savings. Yeah. Like, you need to set an expectation at the time you saying, oh, you don't have to pay anything. But it's like we grown. You ain't got to tell me I got to buy groceries. I got to cook food. I just know I got to do this. Exactly. Right. I shouldn't. I but if I tell no, you, no, no, the woman no, gonna no, say, no, don't try to no. go. Yo, your expectations are are based on on your experiences. So it, don't try to get a mind reader within a relationship. Say yeah, but if, if, that, that, that just yeah. Set the expectations. But, 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 in the but, house. but what do women say? I shouldn't have to ask you. You sure already know I need money. I don't know what oh, women say that, but I never said no stupid right. shit like that. Mind reader, then. I don't know what type of women. I ain't never said no shit like that before. But let's ask this question first. Hold on. So, if I'm paying all the bills, can I file you on my taxes and go ahead and get you as a dependent? <laughs> you can't file no dependent on nobody that's not disabled or underage. I mean, you still. But what do no? it if, if it's we can fill out some paperwork. Can if all you our money's together anyway, it really doesn't matter. He's he trying to say your liability, so you know. That's Nah, no, it's all in the way you look at it. Because see, for me, when you talk about a man paying all of the bills in the household, the thing about it is for me is I don't live with boyfriends. I have never have. We might spend a few nights together at each other's house, but I don't do it. It's just not what I do. I got okay? you. I'm, I just don't. So when I speak about this, I'm speaking on a marriage. So just know that when I'm talking about when I mention things, I'm talking about you being a married couple and possibly with children. And so, like I said before, nine times out of 10, we're, we're not just, he's not spending his money on everything. He's paying the major bills. Women, we are definitely coming out of pocket for something. It's more if so a 60, 40 or 70, 30 split, essentially, uh, Tyra. That's how it is today. Don't mean to cut you off, but that's how it is. No, you're because if you if you look at it, say you live in uh, Farmington Hills or say you live in Nova or whatever, right? Say the mortgage or rent is $2,000. All right, babe, I'm gonna pay the, uh, I'm gonna pay the mortgage and I'm gonna pay your car note and my car note. You cover all the other bills. Because now nowadays, in this day and age, we need a two, a two income household because one I, income I, household, them I, days I are think, over. I think that's exactly. the problem. Like we're like, well, my grandfather used to pay, or my granddad, yeah, the mortgage was thirty five dollars back then. Of course, he paid all you of that. All he did was work all day, hey, come and, home, and he paid his other family bills and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So he could do that. You and know on what top saying? of that, that was no. the twentieth century. It's the that's not century. true. It's a whole new century now. <laughs> I'm just and then First of all, that's not true. And, and this other thing, <laughs> see, it's different for me. You know, it's different for me. Take, you know, oh, the man's supposed to do. See, back then they had to, because the woman couldn't. She was at home. You know, that was her thing. Back then, that was a that's, woman's thing. They looked at women true. how they now women were up, today. When I grew up, my dad worked at the plant like most dads did. I grew up with my dad and my mom and my all my siblings. We all got the same mom and daddy. But you want to know something? What? I'm about to keep it real with you. My 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 uh daddy was working in the plants, but you know what my mama did? My mama was a number runner. She took after my granddaddy and my mom and them. That's what they did. She was a she hustler. paid cash mama money no for one. stuff. Right, you but understand? a lot of people, a lot of people aren't back <laughs> no, in the day. They were the just, just stay at home moms. All they want to do is when their husband get off, run his bath water, make his meal, 
and give uh bang them bang them out and put them to sleep right. that's it and that's, that's where they got 25 if that's kids. what the man wants and that's what he agreed to then that's on him if that's not the type of relationship he wants then don't get into that type of relationship but, see, exactly. it, it all, but it all changed when the roles and you know, women start working. Back then, a woman didn't have the right. Her man said, oh, you she ain't had the right to vote. Right, okay, so, so what about the scenario where job. back in the day, women didn't work. They took care of the kids. They took care of the household. They cooked the dinner. They did the clothes, blah, blah, blah. Now and they couldn't day, talk. They couldn't back talk. You probably couldn't even be on this show right now if we well, was back in the day. I'm, I'm just saying, not working, me. Right? Yeah, I feel, but I'm times just saying. Times have changed women, women my, work, the women but they roll at home still having work. They still taking care of the kids, cooking dinner, cleaning, scheduling appointments, running the kids all over the place and That's Adam right. working on top of that. Well, are you so saying the women are still men. doing that to this day and the man ain't? I'm saying not, today, not, the to the degree, not to the degree never. of a woman. Not to the degree of a woman, no. What men doing, what? What men doing no. that they got a woman? What man is doing Hello. that has a Hi. woman? How you doing? Wife. My name is Smart. So wait, you telling what me you, you cook all the food, you wash all the clothes, you send all the wife. kids appointments, you Before do I came here, Before I came here, I was washing clothes. I'm, 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 I'm 50, 50. Me and my wife is 50 50 on the bill. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying. gonna sit that's up here and lie. My 50, wife 50 is watching. Is not with the woman working <laughs> and doing all the household stuff. That's why we think it's all awesome. on the bills. That's to be honest, awesome. it, to be honest, so you feel 50 men? 50 on the bills or 50 50 on household? No, we're 50 50 what? on every fucking thing, basically. Right, okay, 50 so 50. Okay, Down so the then that's, that's not a woman who don't bring that to the table or the situation that Rick uh, described. That's not a man paying all oh, the bills. No, Y'all are 50 that's why 50. I cook and I don't mind all that, but I'm well, saying, my, you're saying men don't do it. That's not true. No, no, we no. Just I said, don't don't men don't do it. We're not saying men not don't to the do degree it. that women, women do it. Men that's definitely agree. Oh, no, 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 me, I my, my thing about cooking is I cook if my you know my wife works, so if I'm home first, I cook. I like cooking. As and you I, should. And all she pays is the cable bill. She pays it, but you <laughs> know, so my hold on, Rick, hold on, your your wife watching. Be careful. Yeah, she now. know, she know I'm gonna say this. She paid the cable bill. That's that's her bill. But you know what I'm saying? Okay. But other than that, I'm a cook. Now, as far as cleaning and everything, you know, I'm he a, pay he pay his mama or he pay he yeah, pay yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so let me let me ask you know, you, let me say this and going back off of okay, but I don't Marie, know, do your wife work? Huh? Does she work? Yeah, she does. Okay, she so both of y'all working at me, both of y'all bringing money to the table, and y'all have decided on what each role is. Yeah, right. Yeah. So now, yeah. guess what? You can't move that goalpost because now, guess what? She's a career woman, so now she making sixty, eighty, a hundred thousand. I'm doing the same. So guess what? That means now the roles are becoming more close together. So guess what? I'm doing majority of cooking. I'm doing the majority of cleaning. Since I'm doing majority of helping the kids out studying and it's doing all of this. It sounds like you're talking a lot about you, but go no, ahead. No, no, I'm just I'm just saying I'm just saying I'm just saying I'm just saying in general because I actually reached out to, I reached out I reached out to a lot of my uh, fellas, especially you know, I'm a millennial born in the nineties. So I reached out to a lot of my fellas who are married, who are who do have kids, and they do now do just as much as a woman, if not more, and still have to put on that baggage because I think they do more now. They do they do do more. And it's just a bad notation or the a propaganda few. that's spilled out. Uh, 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 man, 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 you rare unicorn men, that's not the average. That's not no, the average. That, that is the average. I wish I had the numbers Kevin Samuel said last night. I would have brought it in. He said the numbers last night. Is this a Sandra Sis stereotype? There's no way that that's the majority. That that's the majority. not the majority. No, that is, no, that is not, not the majority. That's I'll not tell the you majority. Right now, I guarantee you, men don't eat home cooked meals more than twice a week. What men? What do you mean? All Why men. Why would you say that? Men with or the without majority kids. of men. Because nowadays, women feel like, oh, I could go pick it up. That I could door dash home cook. I could door dash your meal. That ain't home cooking. We ain't looking for your mom, your your her mom to uh, no, make I'm the food. You bring a plane over. No, that's, not, that's, not, that's not. That's not. That's not how I get down. So I don't know what you mean. I don't yes, get so. down like that. But, you have, but you but have a more like, older well, tradition though. Home, then y'all should be cooking equally, right? No, it's about whoever. No, gets, whoever whoever's home available. first, yeah. right? Who's that? Hey. No, Rick said that. Well, what if the wife just happened to get off work at four o'clock and the husband get home at five? That means she is her responsibility to cook well, every we single day. That's like we getting on, but whoever home first supposed to be cooking. Because guess what? I don't need to get all so up into that. Let me tell you what? why. All right, just say you get off at four, I get off at five. All right, and you say who should who should cook? She should cook. Shit, I'm paying all the damn bills. She can't cook. Right, I'm I'm paying the majority of the bills. What the, oh my what's the God. purpose of this stuff? 
See, back in okay. the day when your mom and dad did it, when he come home, he didn't have these conversations. So let me get this straight. You paying all the bills, and you also said you don't want her fucking her money off by going to Somerset. So she has a say. She's not spending her money freely. She's getting her money. She's putting it in the savings, putting money for the kids up college, all this, blah, blah, blah. Her money is not free and clear, <laughs> right? But at the same time, you still want her to do extra because you're paying all the bills, but she's basically paying a bill too, which is to but save see, and build as well. That's the thing about a relationship. I'm not paying you to do things. You my I wife. I didn't say that. I'm your husband. I pay I the bills because I love you. This is our lifestyle. Exactly. I'm not, I'm not paying you to be my be. maid or paying you to be my concubine or paying you to do this or paying you to stand Rick, line. sweetheart, you just said I'm the one paying all the bills so she should cook. But I'm just saying, when they come back <laughs> to y'all... That's automatic, though. Yeah, That's not something yeah. that's expected because I pay the bills. Yeah. yeah. I mean, damn, I got to cook, too? Cook, clean, and Listen, I got to pay all the majority never... bills and wine and dang and buy you a Chanel don't, bag don't, don't twice a year? <laughs> And what, and you know what? You know what the fellas get? Oh, he go to um, the he go to Burberry shirt that's three hundred dollars, baby. Your bag was six thousand dollars. I get a three hundred and fifty dollar uh Burberry shirt. That's it. A, I need at least a PS five. <laughs> right. <laughs> <I'm not checking. laughs> but let me ask you a question <laughs> before we move on. Let me ask you a question. Now that the the roles are closer together, in the sense of a, a woman being a career and a, and a father and the male taking more of the uh, domestic roles at home. When it comes to decision making, is it still dominated by the man, or is it come even if you come to you talking about agreement? A, you talking about a Russell Wilson household or in the real man household? A real, I'm talking oh, about okay. a real house. I'm talking about when you don't don't I'm, don't do him. I'm talking don't about when him. you come in when you come in together and you <laughs> and you and you and you're coming say, hey babe, uh, you tell me, you talking to your husband like, hey, I need to get a new car. I want the new Lincoln. Or oh, we get the new Lincoln. Oh, I want the Cadillac. No, we can't afford the Cadillac right now. We getting Lincoln. So now he already said, look, we're getting the Lincoln. It's better for us financially but you go behind him and buy that, the Cadillac that, that sounds like a problem oh, like a, now that I with the yeah. lady that's gonna sound that's something y'all should already right yeah. but, yeah. That's major just, but that's the question yeah. I'm presenting the question though in the sense of when it comes to decision making not just um the bills and all that but I'm talking about when it comes to major decision making of what we gonna do how we gonna do it I mean, is I'm it the male compromise. is still dominant or is it y'all have y'all just much say so you say what y'all have to compromise that's if I'm compromise. married, I'm, I would never go behind your back and do anything. If I'm okay, if, I mean, at the end of the day, the man is supposed to be the head of the household. But you know, they y'all want to lead. They want to lead in one breath, but in the second breath, they want. But you see, know, this it, is it, the it's thing. Like it's hard to determine I, I, these men. I don't know. Days. I don't know. See, and that's another thing women get mixed up. Oh, he don't pay the bills. He can't. Look, I don't care how much money may, I make. That's what's going to lead into my next question. Yeah. So. If if your husband yeah. um, or mate make less than you, mm -hmm. we st still supposed to pay all the bills. Just say you make sixty thousand, he makes sixty thousand, and you make a hundred thousand. Who he pays the mortgage? I said he had to pay all the bills in the first place. But okay. um, as far as the mortgage, I was raised as when a man gets married, it's his job to be a protector and a provider. So if you cannot provide at least a home for your family, then you don't need to get yourself into that situation. You don't need to have one. Okay. And so I said, you, live, and extravagantly. you don't have to live extravagantly. You know live within you your means. Mortgage, you pay everything else then? Then your lifestyle you is changed. Yes. Yes. Y'all. Yes. Hello. Make it easy. Yeah, Tyra, go yeah, ahead. Okay, Tyra. so this is the thing. This is the thing. People, uh, there are women out here that actually see all situations are different. I know that sounds cliche, but I mean there that's are the women truth. Actually, in real life, that actually like to be that breadwinner and like to have them. There's women out here where the man stays home with the kids again. That is all dependent on what you two have agreed upon and what works for your life, okay? But at the same time, you still, as a husband with kids, you still are supposed to be at, at least provide a home for your family. Now, right. whether you make it less than me or not. So I, I got a now, question. You got to have something just, going on now. So was James <laughs> Evans a good father and a provider? James yes, he was. Evans. From good times. She, she <laughs> I mean, she because look what the position y'all was living I'm in. I'm just saying, he, provi he provided a home. Right, a home. Okay. I mean, I'm not trying to be that was 
homies. They don't even have projects no damn more. Okay. I'm just so saying. That's, so that, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Like, our we no. men, our expectation is providing is different from y'all's. I mean, I'm saying this by. So, a tell man, me this. What do y'all mean anybody. when y'all say y'all lead? Y'all want to lead? Tell me this. I hear so many times men are talking about men. Women won't let a man lead. Me, women don't know how. So tell me what them is some weak your dudes, cause I'm a lead, it, whether I got five dollars in my pocket, I'm a lead God. like I'm a millionaire. God. God. You know what I'm saying? Now when we get up to the no, register, no, no, I might have serious. to step back. No, I can't no, lead no, no, no more. No, 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 lead her to the register. I'm a leader to the register. I'm a leader. Okay, to, yeah. <laughs> they say it's so gonna be this much. Don't okay, be a leader. I'll pay them. Okay, y'all don't want to be a leader, and what you have to understand is. Also, you have to listen. There are so many things to get an understanding of before you decide to share financial responsibility with someone. Because right. listen, I'm happy in a modest right. home where if you want to be the one to stay in a $600,000 house, I'm good with staying in the $250,000 house. So guess true, what? True, you can pay for that $600,000 house then if that's what you feel like it's you want to do. It's the lifestyle that you provided from the, from the um, get-go. From the get-go, if I say, hey, babe, you know, this is where I will live. I don't want to live in Detroit, and that's no knock, but certain areas in Detroit outside of, you know, uh, Rosedale Park. Yeah, just, just, right, he's, right, not right. A, he's not a Detroit native, so. I'm a Detroit why. bright mold born and raised. Okay. I just went to high school in Latham. I don't want people South jumping Hill, on him like, oh, yeah, he, he down in Detroit. No, no, he just, you know. No, but but that's the, well, the South lifestyle Hill is because Detroit. nowadays Stop. everything okay. is socially, yeah. constru- it's, it's socially um, constructed because now, Women looking like, hey, well, you make this much, and why can't we live out instead of Detroit? Why can't we live in Southfield? Or why can't we that's live in Farmington? You know, that's what you're supposed to look in her eyes and say, don't count my damn pockets. You hear me? <laughs> now go fix me something to eat. Listen, the fact still remains, though, that there are some men and quite a few men who just likes to be that provider. You don't, if you're not that person, then you're just not that person. But does that but make you less of a man? Is that, is that there are some men me? that just want to take care of everything. There's Kyra, some you're that's out just the question. what they We're do. We're talking about general, every course, every situation is a situation ship. You have to decide that on yourself. That, of course, but we're talking about the general consensus right now. We're talking about <clears> what <throat> do women think on the general basis overall? And overall, Y'all are trying to say that if a man ain't paying all the bills, then he a roommate. Right. Yep. So then, so we, so then, should we be in? A, should we be um be saying that since y'all don't cook, clean, sex is when we want, and uh, take care of the kids and have my um plate ready by the time I get home? Does that make you less than a woman, or make Listen. you less of a, than a, a home taker? These are all things you don't just I mean, that's the wrong thing left. We can't provide for the house. The and, well, what if you can't provide for this for us? So what, what you say, Kim? I said you could say that on both ends of the scale. If the woman exactly. not doing this, if the man not doing this, um, we both pick it could go, right, both could go pick both each ways. Other. I, I understand all of that. That's what it really come down to. Who who playing their position the best? Right. See, your position and don't who, mean who you the... You no, and who no, did you decide no, I'm just to saying, out of the situation, out of the situation, kind of I might, I might be Jordan, work. but you're going to need a Pippen and a, and a Paxton. Exactly. That don't mean they less of a man or less of a player. They playing their role. Exactly. You know what you I'm saying? Play a role to like, the like me. I'm that's not the a role that a, a woman agrees to, and that's what she select. Like, okay, she some women will. And then, and then we talking about some a woman. Some women will pay 50 50 on the mortgage. Some women to. will pay half. A woman don't mortgage. agree. She agreed to some, and it changed by the next 15 minutes. Well, I mean, I don't know about all Listen. that. But I'm just oh, saying, oh, you pick your mate. You pick your mate. She did look good. Some women. Some women will pay half the mortgage. I'm not paying half of that mortgage. I'm not. Man. I'm not doing it. Now look, I'm no, see, you being 50, honest. 50, it's but not hold on. Fifty fifty does not just. I pay the mortgage in our house. Okay, I got that. But she's still paying the utilities and all the other shit. Right. So you're still okay. paying That's fifty cool. fifty. So it's still fifty fifty. So That's, when you say fifty fifty. Well, not you, but that's when not y'all 50, say 50, when, the bills right, are not that's not fifty fifty. No, that's the bills are probably cheaper. The cable and the and 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 the electric electric bills are probably cheaper. Yeah, when you go to the grocery, and the groceries, no, 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 that, that's no, no. more than the same amount as the mortgage. The mortgage. And then don't Wait, say you, you have fifty fifty with your wife because she paid the cable bill. That make it fifty fifty. No, my wife ain't 50 50. My well, wife hey, paid the cable bill. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But my, one thing I'm so going to say about my wife, you if do I go to my wife Ricky. right now and say, give me $10,000, she's going to be like, okay, babe, when you when you need it. Because she 
She knows that's, that's smart type smart enough to or, say or she'll read my mind that, certain things I, I need. Agree. I got it. And I agree with that. You I know? agree wholeheartedly with that, with that type of, you know, dynamic that you but have. That's kind of the but way you're doing it. Go ahead. Learn behavior for her. Like, you right. know, she got a mom and a dad. And I think some of these traits, even with men, like we learn from our parents. So, exactly. And some dudes didn't have parents. So yeah. or whatever parents they had, that's what they learned. So sometimes even we think our parents was doing their best. Don't get me wrong, but. We take we think that that was good. And sometimes they really wasn't doing good. They, they were really, doing the best that they could, mm. and we take that away. My mom was, well, you know, they were we just know, when we they go. We don't know. We didn't know what was wrong, so, right? Because yeah. they always go back to the fact that when you was growing up younger, you like, well, this is natural. You didn't know you was poor until you got to high school. Yeah, I, somebody, I didn't know I was really poor. Yeah, you didn't yeah, really yeah. know you was poor until you got around other people. Like y'all, I'm poor. No, yeah. because you thought that was natural. Whatever you was well, doing, I kind of okay. knew I was poor coming up because we went to a school. They was coming up in Jags and before I mean, people was see, rolling in Jags. So we like, I, I but was, going basic, I'm catching a Dexter bus. <laughs> I, but going basic, grand oh, yeah, but, <laughs> but going okay, with going off what Rick said is it's learned behavior because. I learned once I got engaged, my fiance, how she then changed or conducted herself. It's like, oh, I want to I want to prove to my man or I want to, you know, worth of the ground he walks on. So I'm going to do my things or my things necessary to make it easier for him. Because guess what? Women, they they do have an intuition that men don't have. And Why she got to worship the ground you walk on? Because I worship the ground she work on. I mean, she walks on. Probably okay, even more. All right. I'm just saying from okay. her perspective. Trust and believe. Me and Rick, we go oh, back at it every day. Oh, but trust and believe. Too. Rick loves his wife. I love my uh, fiance. So and that's wife. right. That's how Rose yeah, feathers on the ground when I'm walking on that right. motherfucker. Because yeah. guess what? <laughs> <laughs> damn, coming and, to and, America. And, you better wake up off that damn dream. You hey, one thing, one thing for sure. Rick always told, and, and since I've known Rick, and he, he he told me this. He said, "Hey, bro, at the end of the day, guess what? You got to make it happen, nigga." Go make it happen okay, for your woman. If you want this, go make it happen. Hey, you gonna be working long yes. doubles and triples. Go make it happen. I don't want to hear no excuses. Can She's I a ask man. Y'all something? Ricky, Ricky, uh-huh. that's Ricky. The yes. And the young man that's engaged. You you married yeah. too, right? The other uh, Smurf, you married yeah. too as well, right? Yeah. Let me just ask y'all something, and I think a lot of women might want to know this actually right now, um, because it's a lot of single people out here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know good people that are single men women you know older everything so really what i want to know with you guys being married and engaged and all that what made you choose your wife that's a good question what made me choose you understand what i'm saying yeah like you've dated you've dated many women in your lives now you know what i'm saying so what made you settle on her what was it about her that said i want to make her my wife what made what made me choose my wife was she probably was like the first woman who, who didn't let me hit on the first day. <laughs> well, that, that didn't really so I was like, damn. That you know, we get, and, 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 you know, a little bit different. And, and you know, we hey, kicked yeah, it and we, we like our relationship didn't start off like about sex. I heard you. So we, we like talked and then I was like, damn. Rick I had like, to get into his feelings. And yeah, shit, I was like, huh? damn, I had, why I gotta meet a motherfucker who got morals and two parents and shit. <laughs> But you know so, what? It just it just made me want her even more, and I just seen. But of how course, she you had to end up being a more a phenomenal woman in between all of that. If you stuck yeah, it out, yeah, that too. She yeah, just uh, I seen know. the way she carried herself, and I was like, that was a turn on. That so you had more. never. That was the first woman you ever met that did not give up the goods easily. Really? Feel like Bob no, I'm like, so that's Rick's story. My story a little different, Tyra and Cameron. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just yeah. so, so I, I knew my fiance in high school. So she went to oh, Utah. Okay. I went to Michigan State. We met bar night uh 2015. Right? He, he couldn't get in right. Michigan. That's why he went to Michigan. No, I got in Michigan, but <laughs> when you go to Michigan, <laughs> there's a not, not, not Michigan Dearborn. Uh, right, Michigan and Auburn. If you know Michigan, topic. it's a Brit, it was a British program back down story. during that time. And <laughs> you had to pay for it. If you just barely making it, I had like a three two, they're like, uh, hey nigga, we need five thousand to go to the British program. You get in. But whatever. But look, right. long story short, I met her and then maybe a month or two later, I found out I was having a child by her uh, a previous relationship. She stuck okay. around. So she seen Boom. me go from nothing. I just graduated, Boom. didn't have nothing to where I'm okay. at now. And during that time, I felt so comfortable that I've already lived my so-called whole life 
that I know that I want to, hey, you know what? I'm going to spend the rest of my life with you because I want to make you happy because you made me happy every day. When, so, when you so didn't have nothing. When you didn't have nothing, you, but you had potential. Exactly. She see, she seen the potential. I, but you were knew. you in college? Like, were you in college? Are you saying you were in college? I just graduated. So I graduated. Oh, you had just, December, had just graduated December 12th of 2015. We met bar night. Again, I mean, we knew each other in uh, high school. We went a few days, but that was really nothing. We met bar okay. night. But he was a ham. <laughs> I was, I was, listen, I really have a real relationship until essentially her. And then from that, that point, was about to be my next question. That was going to be my next question. Was that what you consider your first real relationship? You start living together and you start moving because you had to start moving accordingly in college. You know, you had a couple of main chicks, but of course it wasn't really nothing. <laughs> it really wasn't nothing like, oh, I got to meet your parents. No, nah, baby, come over here. You got to think we're in college. So we're going to hit the Chili's two for 20 and, you know, we'll get a pop in off this pint of Hennessy I didn't have so for two, three weeks straight. So. Hey, we straight so to tell, So tell me this. Did you know then, like, before you decided that these women want, were going to be your wives, did you know then whether or not they were the type to come home and cook, to clean? Oh, this, to this you wasn't looking clean. for that. No, I was, let me tell you how my, my... I cooked and clean. I didn't even think about it. This, I was a clean This is how my okay, wife got me. Okay. She, she cooked, like, you hungry? I was like, yeah. And I was, I was living she single didn't life. She the chicken Alfredo, did she? No, nah, she gave me, she gave she cooked me some, like, <laughs> macaroni... Uh, what else she have? Baked Some chicken. teriyaki, baked wing. Oh yeah, man! So, I told that shit up. <laughs> Still to this day, he asked so, me, "We gonna make that again. Probably Last time she cooked that <laughs> shit. But. Smurf. Okay, Smurf. Real quick, was your story similar to um, either one of theirs as far as um, making your wife your wife decide to do hey. that? All right, so we got a little time, right? Hey, go ahead. My story is, I had actually been engaged to somebody before. I was in the streets. Okay. I was doing all types of street shit, but I was engaged. I had somebody I was staying with that I was, you know, about to be married to and shit. I paid all the bills for this motherfucker at that time, right? <laughs> okay. So they went oh, out and they God. had a baby by another nigga on me. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember so, that story. So that made me change my whole philosophy. You know why? Because I said, if I'm going in, you got to go in half because we got to build together. You got to show me that what I'm putting forward is you going to be putting forward too. My okay. wife, when I met her, we was flirting and everything like that. And I found out that like our friend, you know, we had a mutual friend that was her cousin, you know what I'm saying? And it was wild, we just had never met each other before. And when the first time I met her, we like, not the first time I met her, the first time we went on a little date, but the second time we got straight to it. We knew we, we had right. the vibe already. You We're know still what trying saying? to figure right. out how he got with her, everybody is. We, <laughs> Hold on. we haven't no, figured it out yet. Yeah. No, I just but, was curious because, you know, we can only talk so much about this, you know, who pay the bills and all of that stuff. And I really think that this topic started getting more prevalent because on social media and a lot of groups exactly. I used to be on and everything, it used to be a lot of guys who would fuss and, and talk about the fact that they don't even like to pay for a first date. So it's oh, right. now, let me tell you about dates. About let me what? let me tell you about dates. Oh, yes, a lot of men, these these but see, little boys out here is. I a got a story for you. When yeah, I first but, met Carly. but dates are bad investments with no promise of return. Yeah. Wait, like I used to when I was it single. Matter. Right. I tell you, oh, let's go on a date. I used to tell you, look, baby, I, I can't pay starters. No date ever. I gotta pay my bills. Now you come over here and cook something to eat. And that's what it no, is. No, and when no. they get over there, they be like, "Why you ain't got no couch? Cause you going to the bedroom. <laughs> that's where you going." <laughs> you know what? Yeah. What? I can't listen. I came from Michigan yeah, State, yeah. so all I all we did was, I used to take you know go on dates with girls. I go to the movies, or I take them Chili's two for twenty. When I first met my fiance. <laughs> You got, you got to pick some from this two for twenty menu. Oh yeah, they most right. definitely did because the most. Listen, if you were in college, that was totally listen, fine. Listen, listen, the you chick were in bought college. the the actually my child's mother actually when I first when I first went on a date with her, she bought a lemonade. I'm looking like, come on, man, you didn't want a lemonade? What this this wasn't this? in the plan. You want her to get a water? Get water. But when I first went, when I, when I first went with my fiance, you gotta get a lemon and some sugar. Bro. Oh my god! When I first went with my fiance, the first time we went on a date, I mean, a uh, uh, post um high school, we went to Dave and Buster's. So they had these island drinks. You get the uh, Long Island ITs and you get the uh, cup with it. It's ten dollars. Long story short, the first bill came in a, like hundred and twenty dollars. I'm like, hold on, what the? I, I went from twenty dollars to hundred and twenty dollars. 
and you know she's probably seen my eye i'm like mm, mm, here you go i'm like this but she's like oh man i got the i got the shots next and all that i'm trying to you know impress her the first day in my mind i'm like this chick she gonna marry me because i just spent 120 dollars the first date and mind you we you know we didn't have sex the first month or two or whatever you but see it was just they made like 120 hold on y'all going to Teresa spending 50 dollars and that's maxing out hold on 120 i'm like hey my my wife took me out on a date that was the first time i she's like i'm gonna take you out on a date so I, we go out of downtown and i'm like i still the bill come i still try to pay for it she like no i'm taking you on a date so i'm like there's some weird now, shit. Now, that has happened to me. If she says she's taking place. you on a date, so if a, a lady asks y'all to go out, you feel like she should pay? If she mm. asks me to go out? I, I, me, personally, I'm a man, I've so never, I'm going to pay it. Yeah. But if she, if, never, she like, if she wholeheartedly, like, no, I got it. No, I yeah. got it. As soon as, as soon as it hit the table, I got it. But I'm not I, dating you unless you know what's up already. Right. Or it ain't no. I, I have done that before and tried to do that uh, before, and he walked up to the bar and paid the bill be, without me even knowing it. Like, didn't yeah, even real, that's try to do. get me. Yeah. You know, <laughs> uh, just you know what? Let you, you, you know, look, baby, I got it. Don't worry. I got it. You don't worry. Definitely you gonna pay later on tonight. I'm not paying for the first date. That's out no the question. That's and right. You can, and you, right. you can't afford for the date, then you don't need to be dating. See, that's that, what is a date? See, that's that's another thing. You can't afford a date. You don't need to be dating. That's how we gotta go to the roof. What is a date? When you ask a woman when you go on a date. Yeah, he took me to get something to eat. No, a date, baby. Like y'all went, he planned some. Y'all might went on uh, miniature golfing or went That's on a right. horse bike That's ride. A date. Or so I used to plan dates like that with my I, wife. Listen, you know, I used to be super you creative. Know what I'm it's I'm free shit sandwiches. you can do yeah. for a date. We go down to Not the just, Art Institute. Yeah, yeah. look, yeah. you, you can go down right. to Bell Isle and just Listen. sit on the water and talk. Yep. Yep. With a picnic yep. basket worth forty dollars worth of stuff. Look, baby, it's all night. The best dates, honestly. No, and that's Damn, cool though. Right, that's I actually, right. I actually like stuff. I like stuff like that. I'm giving y'all niggas jewels, man. That's, I actually that's, like stuff that's like that's that. Fine. Everybody right. yeah, just a hundred dollars. Just a hundred dollars. Like, we I'm sorry, I want a motherfucker to spend on y'all ass. Right. So we didn't just say like, that. What if it don't work out now to spend a hundred dollars? Some of the viewers are saying in the comments, just a hundred dollars? Like, why supposed to take you to Ruth Chris the first night? No, nah, see, this is how I'm no, going to get you. No, that's not Ruth no. Chris. But if you go to more than one place on a date, you know, if it's a date that nine up. times out of ten, you're going to more than one place and you know, it was a hundred dollars on the food. Plus, it was her. a forty dollars hey, for the game. You know, and let me start a hey, gas. You, just, hair you know what? Outfit. You know, you know what? They don't add that. Don't add that. Did you just? Dick why, no, don't you add that. Okay. <laughs> so, nah, Bill, don't don't add that. Oh my God! Stop oh, man, it. What? Wait. Gas, hair Did you say that? Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God! Right. I didn't want to leave this off on that message, but the last thing I said with my wife is that I hit on the. Like, that look, that looks look, his, look, his wife texted Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Right. The first but, night, but, hey, she knew what she wanted. I mean, she wanted. <laughs> I want to explain the fact that when we went on the first day, I only spent $70. And I looked at my motherfucking wallet like, damn. And she looked at me, look at my wallet, and she laughed like, damn, nigga, for real? And I was like, yeah, nigga, $70. You had your wallet open up like that? Like, I mean, right. Yeah, damn. Basically, I'm like, like damn. I saw a little like, so, but my thing is this. My thing, let me ask Tyra and Kim this real fast. Give me your idea of a of a great date night. Like, give me the price range and what you're doing because people need to forget, like, it don't it don't cost enough. I mean, it don't it's cost much to impress someone because that's a social, you know, everyone's so old. Oh, he took her to the to Aruba for the first date. No, that's a nigga who make no, no, no that's not what we mean. Right, that's, that's... The thing is that if you go to different places, nine times out of ten, just if you drinking, period. If y'all both drinking, that's gonna run right, the parking lot pimping. Yeah. Hey, we parking lot pimping. We're gonna stop baby. at this liquor store <laughs> and I'm gonna tell her we're gonna go back to the crib and, and pregame. And then <laughs> hopefully after, with my skills of talking, days, we ain't gonna make it on the date. Ricky. Right. Uh, now listen, listen, you do still have to try to make a first impression. Because if you're not trying to make a first impression on me, that means you only taking me out for one reason Look, anyway. Yeah, which means yeah, that's the reason. That money but I'm just saying, I only try to make first impressions. When I get to a certain age, because, you know, I only try to make first impressions with somebody I was trying to make my woman. Now, exactly. if you get somebody I'm trying to bang, hey, dig, just come through. That's, oh, I want to go on a date. I don't date. Then I got a kid. you gonna pay to play though if you no. if you just wanna pay. No, I ain't gonna pay shit got... to play. 
I ain't gonna pay shit. What's you gonna that? come over? Uh, I gotta tell him. I got a kid. I, I take my son out. I spend some money. Really? I'm not taking you kid. out because you. I don't know about. I you. don't know about you now. You want to come through and you know. But Kim, the Kim and answer so the question. Walk, somebody, come if I'm taking you out on a date, uh, or you go on a date, going, where you going to eat, and what you want to do? Grabbing How much? food on a date is cool. Like you said, going to Bell Isle, hanging out, talking, that's cool. I'm not like, we got to have a super expensive no, date. It don't matter. But that. the point is that you are planning something. You're showing effort and you're chivalrous. Don't, like, Those if you're looking at me to pay on the first date, even no, if we're no, doing something no, inexpensive. No, 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 definitely. I guess right, men yes. don't expect you to pay on the first date with money. They want but you to pay But there are some else. men out there now. You're not that getting that ass, ass on the first men. date, neither. Yeah, hey, no, they old man because they think they ain't get their Viagra yet, so they be like, "Fuck, I'm just gonna <laughs> take you out, man." <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sugar daddy for the night, though. baby. This and Instagram era, to... they expect you to be blown now. out. That's the first date. They blow me yeah. out, yeah. Miami, Let's go to Miami, bitch. What? Miami. 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 No, 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 no. They said fuck Miami. <laughs> hey, take me to St. Martin's. And you know the funny thing about that? Because no, I'm going to take you on St. Martin's by Bowdoin. Hey. Yeah, that's what I'm pull up at. Shit. Ricky, shut up. Look, I stay off St. Martin's. Anyway, the thing about it is that I'm not going to sit up here and lie and act like it ain't some women out here that's just straight on some BS. Because I know it is. It's women out here that will just go on dates with guy after guy after guy knowing that they don't like them just for them to spend money on them. I, this happened. Yeah. And I think a lot of men have gotten burned that way. And then they figure it out afterwards, you know. And so then every other woman has to suffer for because of they made a bad choice of the type of woman they decided to take but out. Hey, like, no, so get on y'all sisters next and tell them to stop being like that. We will. You ain't my damn sisters. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that true. Like, we will. You like, hey, my No, no, no. <laughs> Nobody else. Like, hey, that's just like every man has to suffer. You give a woman. I've been hurt. My last boyfriend did this, took my money, did this, did this. Damn. Damn. So, hey, listen. But hopefully that $120, $150 day you went on the first time really matter, huh? So listen, <laughs> there was this meme going around on social media, right, where they was asking people about, okay, say for instance, you a drinker or you a weed smoker, whatever, and the man that you've been dating is the, the plug, the weed man. So if you dating him, y'all, he at your house, you cooking for him, you all of this, should you have to pay for your weed that he supplies for Fuck you? Fuck yeah, that's a business. Hell no. That, that's no. why they say, when you rent the house, you smoke by when, yourself. when you rent a woman a house, do not get with her, because she will not never pay rent again after that. Hey, look. You're right, you exactly. Smoke he smoked with me. That is not. You don't smoke by yourself, or but that's shit? that's why you get. See, that's what happened when you try to be the boss. So that's gonna, why you, you always took. Oh, I'm, I'm just. So you a, wouldn't leave her a little piece when you leaving out, even though you're smoking. Yeah, she got my tail. Okay. No, yeah, I, 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 mean, I will, cause you know oh, I'm coming hell back. No. You know, so no, I'm no, no. I've never experienced that before. Cause I, in my I don't life. want her calling I've the other I've never had a man that did not. Like, I know who out here who dating the um the weed man just for weed. They don't want to spend that extra time. That's like 50, you bring a bottle to my house and we don't drink it all and you take your bottle now when that's, you leave. That's disrespect. That's no, disrespect. I, I hate I niggas. Like, I hate yeah. people like I'm that. Like, yeah. 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 Like that. Okay. And when I come back, if it's already drunk, I'm going to be like, who the fuck did you drink this with? Damn. Maybe she drank it by herself. Wait. Wait. You drank the whole family drink two days? Stop, 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 stop. You was at stop, work. Stop, stop. Yeah. They Nine times bloody. out of ten, we on the second one, and we both already... You not go no shit. You ain't go, sh you not go no shit about how much it's in mind before you come back. Yes, because you're bringing another one when you come back. Yeah, I'm going to keep bringing them because I'm going to keep I'm, filling yeah. you up every time I come. So I'm bringing, all I got to do is bring the drink. I'm going to bring the drink. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> Fuck it. That's the price you get. Hey, fuck it. Hey, look, you want some chili cheese fries with that? Yeah. <laughs> that's all it takes. Yeah. I mean, oh then you got a little See, that's the and I'm hot and ready, that's and then we're going to do a bunch of move Netflix, and put the kids in that's the a real date. Body. A real date is, especially during quarantine. Okay. Hey, babe, I'm going to bring you some neat. Oh, already, I already got a fifth in my trunk. What we doing? Because that whole, oh, let's go out, um, babe, you know, I just don't feel comfortable. You know, Netflix around. And in chill, your mind, man. look, baby, I already got it. You said what, Kim? It's Netflix and chill now, right? Netflix and chill, or now nah, you got HBO Max and chill. They got the high end stuff. Hey, yeah, it might be Disney Plus and chill. Max <laughs> and chill, Disney and chill, Hulu and chill. But we ain't getting past the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really, I, I really think though, 
this whole dating scene and all the stuff scary. we're talking about. If a woman stand her ground, then dudes wouldn't be on bullshit. See, most of us on bullshit because we know what we can get away yeah, right with. Way. Yep. With women. Yep. So yeah, it might be a lot. Of, it might just say it might be 20% good women. But guess what? I ain't even got to put up with that bullshit of that 20% of good women. Because I'm going to get one of these bullshit women that's going to go with All my right, bullshit. All right, Mr. Kevin. Uh, Kevin why would Samuels? you want that? Why would you want <laughs> that? Because it's exactly. easy. Just drop names. <laughs> Name tag. Man, bro, he been here. He's sitting, sitting down. <laughs> Y'all don't really want them type of women, though, because I get so tired no, of hearing. They do. They do. Um, Who do a man cheat with? Wait a minute, I'm sorry, my phone. He cheat with that Uh-oh. rat that go to rainbows that's going to cook him some chicken hey, wings. Hey, no, you know no, why, man, you know cheat why with... he cheat with her? He cheat with her. No, he don't. You know he ain't about to spend no other time with her. And he ain't got to spend no money. Low I, agree. I disagree. You know what? I think yeah, men no cheat over. with women who have more to lose. And I'm just saying, say, say, oh, no. Kim, oh, no, 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 say Kim, that's say Kim, Mary, say, say Kim, a uh, Mary, and she got two kids and she's her husband ain't laying it down or her husband ignoring the last six months. Well, she meet uh, <laughs> Paul over here. Look, Paul already married, got three kids. He's like, look, baby, look, you already know what's going on. So why would it's, I it's, why would I jeopardize what I got going on to snitch on you and why would you jeopardize what you got going on? Because clearly you know well, that's a smart man. man. A smart man think like that. Yeah, but, that's you know, a smart man. Though. But that's, most, most men ain't smart. Shit, that's, we see you. That's at, not most men. Yeah, we yeah. see. Yeah. Most guys are dumb. Most guys yeah. Are dumb. yeah. So we on, see. <laughs> and like, as a guy. And you know, most of us are dumb. They're looking for the easy <laughs> word. Look, yeah. because we guess look, what? We're looking so at that, that chick at the bus like, stop, hey. looking real cold in the wintertime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Here's, here's, the, here's the best analogy that I've heard. Men are like Bluetooth. We connect to whatever's closest. Women are wireless. They connect to the strongest signal <laughs> until it is out of range. I got one better. Uh, Men are like yeah, that dogs. Hurts. You let a dog out at night. It goes, it tears up the yard, it comes back, you can tell it done messed up everything. You're sitting there with a dumb look on his face, like, like I don't know what happened. That's when you know you a cool. cat. Women are like cats. They go out, they tear up the neighborhood, but when they come back, they li- are sitting on the porch licking their paw, and you don't know what the fuck happened. What the hell did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> he said y'all be licking. Did this nigga, I mean, I'm sorry, did he just say women are like cats? In so many words, he's, he's saying women are, are more sneaker than guys. Women are sneaker more than sneaky, than right. <laughs> Y'all is. Women okay. are very sneaky. I think that was the point. Okay, okay. okay. You trying to say about well, the no, I mean, I think that's that's been a okay, whole thing. Okay, because that was kind of a little shady right there. For a not to be. Yep. Men are faithful. Men are as faithful as their options. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I, um... Um, somebody say pussy cats. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the bottom line is that, you know, dating fucking sucks right now. And I hate that. Yeah, I especially with the Me Too movement. No, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> being it's scary. Real. it's scary. I don't, I'm, I'm glad when I'm, look, I don't want to date you because Listen, you don't know when anything is going to happen. One of my hi, me. might be getting a damn call. <laughs> one of my exes what's might just get a damn call because I'm tired. Okay. I'm, hey, I'm glad I don't date no more because I was tired of all them beggars. So no, there's actually there's this question was raised by another show, and I'm curious as to you as to your guys' take on it. They're uh, in their 40s, uh, and it's you know the, the struggle now is back in the day, like the 80s, 90s, that kind of stuff. It was cool to like walk up to a girl in a coffee shop or walk up to a girl wherever and be like, "Hey, I think you look nice. I'd like to take you out. Here's your number, or here's my number." You. It's harder to do that now because okay. girls react differently, and and girls, like and, that's a key word. Even women. Okay, I, women, you know what? That's that's a, that's a valid females, opinion right there. No, females. Women, females. 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 Yeah. <laughs> because, well, think about it. Also, because it's money. Just, if I it's hop out, on your approach though, because some men approach you just like last night. Literally, no lie at the store. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's store. a lie. That's a lie. Because if the nigga you like, if you like the nigga, you're gonna go for it regardless. He can have the same no, approach no, no, as the no, nigga no. you didn't some like, don't give but you like him, so you did it. I agree with Will. But some men don't give you the option to decide if you're going to like them or not because this dude literally just was like, damn, shorty, damn, you cute, y'all are bomb. Da-. You know and if like, you felt him, that would have been cool. I, it no, all depends I, I on that, that you type like of woman. And what's he like? like but you did also can't complain when that nigga ain't shit. As soon as you though. walk up, before you even open your mouth, they're judging you. They already basically know whether or not it's somebody that's you got, interested How you in. looking? And first thing come out your mouth, what's your teeth looking like? I'm coming up with the bare minimum. <laughs> Where you work well, at we nowhere? Know. We know. Would you get nothing? 
<laughs> Where you live at with my mama? <laughs> do you nah, know I you had a guy? Listen, do you know I had a man and he was cute too? I ain't even gonna lie, he was fine. But do you know I he actually was standing in line with me at the store, not the guy last night, but he had told me that he thought we would make cute kids. So I said, well, I'm grown. I'm a lot older than you. You don't realize this, but I got a grown kid. I ain't having no kids. He's like, come on. I just want one more. Like, he was so serious. When I told him I wasn't having no more kids. Was he an older and gentleman? And you were gonna be like, huh? Was he an older gentleman? Was he an older gentleman? He was younger than me. Oh, oh that's just yeah. a weirdo. Huh. Yeah. What's I mean, wrong with like exactly, an older like like No, no, no. Ain't nothing like wrong with like an older woman. It's just trying to pop a baby out and chick right off back. Yeah, the first thing you come up to my phone, I think we had great kids together. Let me have a kid with you. First of all, if your approach is that, you. Automatic exactly. X him out. Um, excuse me. Thank um, you. I'm good. Okay. Okay. This is what, what I'm saying. So it's all in your approach. So it's not necessarily that women don't like to be approached by men. It's all in how you do it. It's not what you do. It's how you do it. And right. that's the problem these days. Everybody want to be a jokester. Everybody think everything funny. Everybody think. And I love to laugh now. But that first impression got to mean something. Okay. You got to give me something to go off of. Well, all right. Thank you. That was a good conversation today. Uh, I want to so thank good. the ladies. Tyra, you know, she, thank you, Tyra and she in house. Um, Kim, guys. thank you for coming out. I really appreciate it. We got Bill and Smurf. As always. Yeah. And, Tell um, Arnold we said what I up. Enjoy <laughs> oh, I enjoyed yeah. you, fellas. All right. And thank you for tuning in to Unconsciously Raw. I'll see y'all next week on Thursday hey, at hey, 6 p.m. on Podcast Detroit. Hi, I want to do a dating show. All right, Kim. All right, Tyra, take care. For sure.